Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Masters. It's time round. We are finally going to tackle Chapter 5, which will allow us to unlock the events for this Pokemon Masters game. And from there, we can finally break down on uh, maybe mechanics and different mechanics on how you can actually play this game in a more, I would say, pro, pro player style. If that's what you guys want to call it by. But anyways, uh, this game is not exactly that difficult, I suppose. It's just that it's very grindy. So if you're a kind of person who doesn't like long grindy games, um, I suppose Pokemon Masters isn't for you. Even though you might like Pokemon, like I do, I, I'm okay with this game. Um, you know, because... I've been playing games for ever <laughs> since my childhood until now. Uh, and yeah, Uta Macross is a very grindy game as well, alongside with Pokemon Masters. Although Uta Macross does need more time spent on, unlike Pokemon Masters, where you can still play at your own pace. But I don't know, um, maybe with the events unlocked, it might be a different story. So yeah, let's dive into the main story. Oh! Oh! Alright, so here we go, Chapter 5! <sighs> According to Rosa, there should be a PML leader somewhere on this mountain. Hi. Yep, her name's Skyla. She's a gym leader back in Unova. She's super strong, so let's make sure we bring our A game. Uh, wonder what her battle style is like. <laughs> Your mind is always on Pokemon battling, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm Ash. Uh, that's all you can ever think about. I look forward to meeting her as well. I wonder what she's like. I'm sure we'll be at all be fast friends. Uh, she's super friendly. I guess she's like you. Oh, I've got messages. Yes. Alright, let's get going. Alright, second part of chapter 5. Uh alright, so rock Pokemon, I guess let's change myself to Brock. This rock is like the only higher level trainer I have. <laughs> it's the law of the jungle that prevails in nature. I'll take a bite out of you. Oh god, she's gonna chew me out. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't really taste good, so I would refrain from doing so. Alright, so Rock Troll, and of course, Energy Ball here, Rock Troll there, Special Attack up, maybe a Bubble, a Waiting, Rock Troll, and of course, the Energy Ball. Hey, that's it! Guess we're too overpowered for this chapter. <laughs> Oh no, I got eaten. No, I don't even want to eat you, but um, other guys might. Hmm. <laughs> the law of the jungle is real. You have to be creative if you want to beat stronger yes. opponents. Better safe than sorry. Oh, the <laughs> poker fan. Oh, oh, come on. What? More cute little sing pairs. Oh god, he, he makes me feel like he's a pedophile. Oh dear lord. <laughs> if you want to move on, you have to get past me. Stay away, please. Oh god. I'm, I'm kinda scared. Alright, rock throw. Oh, rock throw on the wrong thing. Oh dang. Let's throw some rocks at the PG. 
Oh, of course, a Z-Bat. Special attack up. And maybe a rock throw at him. Might up him now. Alright, are we done? Oh. Alright, so having powerful trainers, or rather trainers with a certain amount of level is helping out with <laughs> moving things along quickly. Uh, the afterglow of defeat is welling up inside him. Oh god, this guy is just... Oh no! Stay away, yeah! <laughs> See, even our character is backing off. So I, I don't know, did Game Freak intentionally make poker fans to be this creepy? Yeah, they didn't seem that bad in the generic video game, so <laughs> I don't know. Alright, next part. Uh, still plant and rock, eh? Oh, oh wise one. Is this perhaps... Hey, let me take a look at your face a bit. <laughs> oh snap! She has a really bad fortune waiting for her. And that is terrible news. We must save her! It's okay, just leave everything to us. Are you saving me or are you gonna beat me up? Maybe you're the one needs saving me. I shall cleanse your Pokemon! With my brute strength! <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. No wasted movements. Fantastic. Why do you reject restoration? No, you are the one that need saving, and I just saved you. Meh, it's not big of a deal. She's free to believe what she wants. So, is this Pokemon's version of people with religious beliefs trying to force their religion on you? I don't know. It's, it's kind of a... Too, too much of a realistic topic to have inside a game. <laughs> My hobby is to beat trainers on their way to what lies ahead. So you're literally a bully? Why can't you just let people pass? Ah, oh, Deli Bird. Cute. Um, okay, so everyone's weak against rock. So let's just throw some rocks. What? Evaded? Oh, dang. Wait, again? There you go. Oh, I can't believe this. Look at all the nice rewards. Alright, dead set on victory. Oh. How do you even see in those? <laughs> what do you know? Another win for me. Now, hand over that badge. Sure, here you go. Thanks for the battle. I think I got a bit stronger. Nice job out there, Swana. Good hustle. She's so positive, oh my god. How can you praise your Pokemon after a crushing defeat like that? Pokemon aren't friends, they're tools. No wonder you lost. Hey look, there she is, Skyla. Huh? What's going on over there? Winning is all that matters. How can you just smile and accept defeat like that? You should feel terrible. Terrible? But I don't feel terrible at all. Swan and I had a lot of fun. Skyla, are you okay? What's going on? Oh my gosh, Rosa! How have you been? I haven't seen you in ages, and you guys... Wait, I don't think I've met you yet. 
silence CL you again. Why must you un, un universe? Why must the universe conspire to irritate me? What are you doing here? Don't tell me you amateurs are trying to enter the Pokemon Masters League. Got a problem with that? Excuse me? Of all the ridiculous, insolent, pathetic. I knew you'd be a pain in the neck the moment I saw that head of yours. So it's not me that he has a problem with, he has a problem with my hat. <laughs> a hat? <laughs> See, even Rosa is confused. <laughs> Never mind that, it doesn't matter anyway, I shall crush you under the, my heel here and now. A one on one battle, just you and me. None of you interfere. Um, okay, my Pikachu is at a disadvantage. I shall teach you a lesson even a fool like you will remember. Does my Pikachu at least know Iron Tail? What's wrong? Is that all you've got? I didn't even get to enjoy myself. Wait, I just lost without even fighting. Bow before the victor amateur. And don't forget, I always win. Hmm. <laughs> See, I win, you lose, and all is right in the universe. Well done as always, young master. Good for you, Master Leah. <laughs> Obviously failure begets failure. You amateurs belong together. We're done here. Let's go. Ma. Are you alright? Uh, what's with that guy's problem? You said your name Silent CL, right? That battle was great. You and your Pokemon were so earnest and straightforward. <laughs> It doesn't matter whether you win or lose, being able to have friendly Pokemon battles is the best. I, know. I couldn't agree with you more, Skylar. I know. You know, while we're on that subject, we were actually hoping we could get a badge from you today too. Huh? Oh, I see. Well, my favorite place is nearby. Why don't we go there and take a break first? Hi. Good idea. Yeah, you must be exhausted after battling the jerk here. Alright, hanging out with the ladies? Oh, okay. So much for hanging out, instead we are going to battle? Oh wait, we have to travel there to relax? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the mountain's great. The air is clean and the waters are clear, crystal clear. And the Pokemon battles are hot, right? I don't know. I guess if you're using fire Pokemon. So, uh, rock throw on the balloon. Energy bar here. One more rock. And more rocks over there. Of course, we need energy for the energy ball. One more time. That's it! <sighs> My strength is fragile. I guess I still have a ways to go. Oh no, it's her again. Way to be able to face my majesty of nature. I don't understand these phrases, they don't really make sense. <laughs> majesty of nature? What is that? Oh wow! Okay. At least we're seeing different types of Pokemon. Gonna wait for the energy because 
well, we want to keep some of the uh, skills for the last few battles, I suppose. Or was this the last battle? <laughs> I don't know, it, it, are they retaining like two rounds of fights per chapter? I mean like that section of the chapter. I believe that you can face it. Your Pokemon have such genuine eyes. You can't overcome anything when you're with your Pokemon. I seriously have no idea what you are talking about, lady. First you are talking about nature, then you say you can face it. What has, what has facing nature got to do with... I don't know. Maybe the translation is lost because like the game was from a Japanese company. Alright, blue skies and sunshine. Ladies, one tea? Oh wow, check out that sky. This place is great, Skylar. I'm glad you like it too. Uh, did you and your Pokemon get a good enough rest? Well then, why don't we have a little bit of fun? Uh, of course. Haha, <laughs> good answer. Well then, I think we need a fun battle to pick our spirits up. Alright, let's do this. Seems like everyone is just thinking about Pokemon battles. There is other things to do in life other than Pokemon battling, but okay. Alright, let's go. Let's throw some rocks at that swan. Alright, using our step up. More rocks. Kill the fancy. Bubble. Oh, that's a good fly. The attack. There we go, getting rid of the boulder. Hopefully I didn't butcher the name, because I can't remember which one is it. Oh, shuck, I used the wrong finisher. All of them are weak against rocks. Oh well. More stones on the bird. so pretty, oh my goodness. Oh no, I used the wrong thing. Oh no! Oh god! That's so much damage. Recover, recover. There we go. A bit of a messed up situation there, <laughs> but we still survive. Hopefully that's the end of chapter 5. Yeah, and we have Skylar joining us. Fantastic. What a great battle. So glad I had a chance to battle you. My Pokemon and I are super satisfied. We were able to really spread our wings. Not to mention, I could tell that you were enjoying battling alongside your Pokemon and friends. Good match, that was really fun. Yeah, thanks! Oh, that's right. Uh, this belongs to you now. You've earned it. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty batch design. Only three more to go. And you did it! We've got our second batch. You know what? I decided I'm going to join your team. But does the team actually have like a max capacity of trainers allowed to join? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what? If I go along with you guys, I think we'll be able to have tons of fun adventures. <laughs> Alright then, make sure your seatbelt is secure, your seat is upright, and your tray table is stowed. We're taking off to the next batch! Skylar is just so fun. It's so bubbly all the way. 
グッドビガールフーロです飛ぶのも飛ばすのも私に任せてね Mm-hmm. All the gym leaders we are getting from the main story are like three stars. It's kind of sad. Congratulations! From now on, you'll be able to participate in any events that are going on. Yes, that's what we are here for. You now have access to the events area. Let's check out what events are going on right now. Events only last for a limited time, though. Act fast, or you might miss your chance at exploring the new areas. Feel free to check out the news for a list of all the events currently going on. New mission. Check it out on your polyphone. Alright, I will do that. So we now have event missions. Ooh. Okay, so we, completing all of them gives us pearls. We need money. Um, money is pretty important to get all the other resources that you can exchange for. So, yeah. Let's just claim all the rewards. Okay. Exchange item. Alright, guys. So, let's go take a look at the events. I'm sure there should be two of them. Oh, wait. Olivia's is not begun. Uh. Blue's event will end in 18 days as so this time I'm recording. Rock type training event. Hmm. Okay, so we still have a bit of time. Um, we'll probably check out the events in the next episode. Uh, for meantime, I'm just going to do some exchanges. Let's see if there's anything that will expire in certain days. Uh, Oh, oh! This is important, though. Oh, that's what you need to grind the events for. Because in order to unlock the potential of your trainers, you need these items. Oh, dang! What is this? Replay ticket. By using this, you depart for an area that you've run out of attempts for. You can have another chance to explore. Oh. Okay, so you can actually get kicked out of an event, I suppose. What, what? what happened to the regular exchange? General. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I'm still quite far away from um, getting the energy bar. I suppose I could exchange 10 at one go. Yeah, we should do this. So we're still halfway there. Hopefully, that's, this is probably like the first thing you should exchange. Um, I don't know, these these are kind of important as well, but... Uh, oh well, okay. Alright, let's go do some more stories for the characters that we've got from the Scout. Sync pair stories. Uh, we're still quite a bit away. Uh, Roxy! As Silence Yell was walking on the beach, she heard the sound of a bass guitar and someone singing loudly in the distance. Curious? She headed towards the music and eventually discovered the culprits, Roxy and her welly pee. Why are they culprits? Oh, hey there! Did we catch your attention with our little jam session? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty sick, actually. If you ever want to get into music, we should totally form a band. I mean, we're already on the same team, right? Come on, sing a little something for me. Uh, are you nervous? You don't gotta be nervous. Nobody will laugh at you, I promise. So, what kind of song are you gonna sing for me? <laughs> I kind of figured you would some sing something like that. Well, come on, let's hear it. The moment I cleared my voice and started to sing. Uh, I think you might have made a fan out, Willie. Really? 
you know, listening to you sing kind of put me at, uh, at ease. The kind, fun personality of yours really came through in your singing. But I feel like being in a band might not really be your thing. Uh, was that, that terrible? No, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, I'm saying it all wrong. Just a second. Just listen to me for a sec. At once, Roxy launched into a heavy bass, bass riff. Um, I felt the deep sound echo in her chest, making her heart beat faster. E. I think you're thinking about it too much. Yes. I mean, when I jam, I jam! Sometimes I rock out and hit bang so hard I forget my own name. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> when I heard you sing, it kind of made me realize something. I think Pokemon battling is your jam. It's way you're most in your element. So, I'm terrible at singing and good at Pokemon battles. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so, I guess it might sound a little selfish of me to say this, but how much rather see you stand up on stage and battle it up? Uh, oh god, she's rejecting me in a very nice way. Oh dear lord. <laughs> I guess we should have a battle soon then. You're on! Just you wait, we're gonna blast away the competition. Kaboom! You know, I've got loads of fans that love and support my music. <laughs> but when it comes to trainers, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> Why are you hiding behind a mask, Roxy? <laughs> Just say the truth. Don't need to sweeten things up for me. Alright, let's do one more and let's call the episode here. We just got Skylar, so why not let's talk to Skylar. Alright, Skylar so Sierra climbed up the rigorous mountain trail during her travels. She trudged toward the top of the mountain, hoping for a good view of Hasio. That's where she ran into Skylar and Swana. <laughs> Oh, over here. Are you on your way up to the mountain? Yeah. I thought so. I figured you were heading that way if you were on this trail. I was looking down the trail while Swana and I were flying overhead and I realized this trail is especially difficult. It's a lot harder than you look. But don't worry, Swana and I are here now. If it's getting too tough to keep hiking, you can just fly onto the top. Isn't it like cheaty? It looks like Swana's all for it too. So how about it? Let's go for a nice flight. Uh, wait now. Whoa! See? In a snap, right? <laughs> Thanks Swana. That was fun, wasn't it? I don't think it's Swana's help. It's screen changing magic. <laughs> That was really fast. Swana's really strong, isn't she? She's got stronger by always flying next to me whenever I flew my cargo plane. Hanging out with her made me realize how fun it is to do things with your Pokemon. And how fun it is to get help from them. That's why I'm really glad I came to Pasio. Trainers and Pokemon all help each other out to make great Pokemon battles together. And you can make better memories if you share them with Pokemon and other people. What I'm trying to say is that it made me really appreciate working hard together. I'd love to have more Pokemon battles with you and share more memories together. Yeah, I feel the same way. Great! It's a unanimous decision then. Here's to a beautiful friendship. All this um, positive attitude feels a bit too unreal to me. <laughs> so, I don't know, I mean, I get it that, you know, uh, Game Freak wants it to be like a uh, child-friendly type game, but still, when when you're old enough to understand that life is not as um, pleasant and filled with flowers and sweet scents, 
this game will start to look very unreal. And I don't know, but I still love Pokemon. I love the franchise and I love the characters that they have created for this series. And yeah, so guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another adventure. We have finally cleared chapter 5. We are going to dive into the world of events. And of course, I'm going to explore the events uh, right after this by myself. Then I could probably give you guys a rough explanation of what my personal feelings are for this game's events. And of course, um, if a tutorial is needed for Pokemon Masters and that kind of stuff, maybe even pro tips and all this kind of thing that I usually do for Utah Macross, I will definitely do it for Pokemon Masters as well. But as from the view counts for Pokemon Masters so far these few episodes, um, it seems like a lot of people are not that interested in Pokemon Masters, which is kind of sad, mainly because um, the game developer Dana and of course the Pokemon company who is working aside, alongside with them uh, hasn't really been putting uh, too much effort to make the game enjoyable for their fans so it's kind of sad to see that Pokemon Masters is going downhill I really really love the Pokemon franchise and I wish that this game would become something as well but as of now the game is just starting out and it might need some time um, to get on its feet kind of like Pokemon Go uh, even though Pokemon Go up to this point of time isn't exactly that um, top tier of a game because, well, it's a very rep repetitive style of game and, you know, well, the game has a lot of cheaters I don't know uh, Ultime My Cross doesn't have that many um, problems when it comes to people hacking the game and cheating uh, I don't know, maybe because the game is purely in Japanese and there are not that many American fans playing it uh, unlike the Pokemon franchise. So let's see how things go and how Dana and the Pokemon company decides to bring Pokemon Masters up to uh, its best potential as a mobile game. At this point in time, I'm still enjoying the game. I'm still taking my time to uh, level up my characters and of course figuring out the mechanics of the game. And of course, what kind of hidden stuff that you probably might miss, um, you know, if you didn't pay close attention to the game, you know, because you might be playing in auto mode and you don't realize certain things happening, yeah, that kind of stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you guys again for watching up to this point, which is episode seven of Pokemon Masters with me. Uh, you probably might stop the countdown on the Pokemon Masters video because I might not do it as often anymore due to the popularity rating of Pokemon Masters but I will definitely come back to the game once in a while whenever I discover something. Of course, the next episode will be my experience of the events for Pokemon Masters and of course, we'll decide from there whether this series will continue on with my, uh, with my YouTube channel or not. So until again guys, thank you guys once again so much for watching. Leave a like in, uh, to this video if you appreciate the content and of course, comment down below on your thoughts about Pokemon Masters and how it is currently up to this point of time that it has been released so far. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and I'll see you guys in a future content on my YouTube channel. Who knows, maybe Ultra Macross or maybe even games that I love playing and I wish to share my experience with you. Alright, I'm supposed to do a review of uh, Weathering Review or best known in Japanese as uh, Tenki no Ko. If you guys haven't watched the movie yet, uh, you might want to hear my experience with the movie and my thoughts about it. And of course, um, if you guys have already watched it and have experienced the awesomeness of the movie, um, you know, yeah, let me know in the comments down below as well how how excited you are to maybe hear my review and talk about things about uh, you know the the movie itself. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.